Hey guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. We're gonna load 13 little babies. We did it before, you saw that a couple episodes ago where we got three in. Now we're gonna do the rest of them, all 13. We need to get these things wormed. Um, one of them came back with a pretty high count for uh, itty bitty icky parasites. So we're gonna get the rest of these guys wormed. We need to get them tagged, give them their shots, so that way I can sell them. Um, I just need to get these things over to Steve's, load it up on this trailer. We're gonna show you how we work them through Steve's system, which is gonna be very much similar to the shoot that we have. Um, and get them all done, load them up, and bring them on back. So that's what's going on today at Black Acre Ranch. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna set up this very much similar to like last time. My mom's gonna be down here behind the door, my dad's gonna be over there, and we've got it duct taped up to the top, so that way the, the line, if it sags down, is gonna be interfering and distraction to the baby, so we don't want that. We've duct taped it up to the rust-oleum and rust, so that way it's super strong, super gonna hold. The 13 babies are of different sizes. This is a 16-foot livestock trailer. I'm pretty sure we can get all 13 in. Um, I'm not sure if we have to use that separation gate, I'd kind of like to, but there's more room up front than there is in the back. So I'm gonna try and get eight, seven, eight in the front. So the first cutout that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and get a bigger group and then get them all up into the front and my dad's gonna swing that puppy shut. That's in theory. And then we'll get the rest in the backside here Again, this is all theory. We're gonna see how practice goes. Similar to kind of what happened last time, but uh, not as many as we're doing now. So let's get at it. Okay, so the tape didn't hold on the rust, so we're gonna try again. That's not gonna hold either. All right, we've given instructions. The kids are gonna, oh, gloves are failing. Calmages are crap. Anyway, we gave instructions. We've got kids placed at different corners by the gates where there's low spots. So that way they're not gonna be able to hopefully squeeze under. We're gonna bring the herd in through here like we did last time. Get them all up, get the number that we want and cut off the ones that we don't. And then bring them back through and hopefully this goes smoother. Again, we're applying pressure. We're not trying to freak them out. It gets hard, but it's kind of fun. But anyway, we're gonna try and get them in there and hopefully this goes smoothly. But everybody has their assignments to be at places. Charlotte's gonna be manning the camera and the other two kids are gonna be wandering aimlessly. We'll see if they can be productive. Okay. Let's make sure you guys all stay. All right, now if I have my preference, I would take itty bitty babies second. All right. You really want to go. Now. How many is there in here? If these two little ones can stay. These guys can go. I want two to stay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk my life on that one. Okay. Seriously, let's see if we can cut out some of these itty bitty ears. Come on. 
We have any cubes left? Uh, <laughs> no. I need to get out of this spot. they're looking there's two they're looking so I'm trying not to push them too hard that wasn't working before I'm just trying to keep them up by the trailer hopefully they get acclimated and then they just at least one go in and see what happens Rattle a bag a wee bit, Chica. Thank you. Dad, Dad, shut the gate, shut the gate! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they've got some room. Well, wait until we get these six up here, they're gonna be snug. I know you, dude. You were, I swear, the last time. Of course, you guys all look the same. First, see the first, first, come on, come on guys, get in there. Come on. Come on. Man, that's gonna be snug. Mom, get ready. I don't think we're gonna fit them. All right. I mean, I don't think they're gonna get in. They're gonna have to want to get in to pack themselves. Okay, I'm gonna let these three out, Mom. All right, we don't have room for these other three, so we're gonna drop them off at Steve's, the 10 that we've got in the trailer. We're gonna have to come back for these three. 
and work them like that. It would have been really tight, so we're not gonna do that. So I'm not gonna wait too long. Let's get a move on, get them load, unloaded, and go from there. Can you tell me when? So that went a lot smoother. As I was telling Talmadge, I don't know if I caught it on the video, I've never succeeded at forcing any one of them in yet. So this time we just let them sniff it, keep them directed facially towards the inside. And with some nudging of their friends and whatever, the one went through and once you get one, the second one kind of started, the third one was a little slower, but me trying to scare them and shoo them and rush them just wasn't working ever, ever. I've never <laughs> been able to do it. So this went a lot smoother. I swear it took like five minutes. So we're gonna get these over to Steve, and then we're gonna start working and processing them through the shoot. We'll catch up with you there. Okay guys, so we're here. We've got the shoot, we've got Steve. He's helping us do this. We're gonna start sending the 13 babies through. We've got three alleys that we're gonna put the babies in. We're gonna try and get some shots from this. We're gonna get some shots from the GoPro that's gonna be on my head. And um, we're just gonna kind of show you how this works. Our goal is to get them from the back end when they come in here and all the way out within 10 minutes. The soak time, we don't want the soak time long. When they're here, we want them two to three minutes or less. Now that's an obvious goal we wanna try, but frankly, it's a goal and probably won't happen. A number of things can happen, you never know. We can have them go backwards, we can have issues. So we're gonna just give this a shot. We're gonna try and have everybody have their job, which is fine. I'll be up front. I'll be doing ear tags in the drench. Charlotte will be doing the gate, checking gender and giving us the shot. We've got three shots. This is gonna be two milliliters, five and five. They're already preset on the gun. So all Charlotte has to do is poke it in the neck area, pop it in, squeeze it, and it only injects that much fluid each time. So that should all be set. So she's got those here and then ear tags are off to our left. So I acted like a buffalo and got in on the scale. The scale, we're not too sure if it's really working accurately, so we're gonna take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> it's already got a bias on it. It was 30 pounds, now it's only 20 pounds, so it kind of fluctuates. So we're just gonna kind of take this with a grain of salt, like I said, but it's our first time. So we're gonna try and stay calm, work them through. Steve will be back end, I'll be front end, and let's see how it goes. So, okay. are we sending the first one all the way through to yeah. pass me? I wait here, eyeball this crack, and then shove it. Yes. How do you turn them back around? The old paddle. Oh, kind of like put it in front of their face. Okay, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Give him a little nudge. Let me get this ear first okay. before you start before you start going to town. I know you're not gonna bite me. Give me your ear. Mm. 
I know. Squeak, creaker, squeak, 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 squeak them. Come with me, Mari. You good? Good, Mom? Yeah. All the vaccinations. Done. Okay. Next one. Bring it forward. You got him repped? Ready? Done? Okay. Next one loaded. Everybody good? Good. You got the vaccinations? That's a girl. All right, girl, thank you. So I'm confirmed, I'm not gonna... That's a girl. You sure? Looks like a boy to me. Right. That looks like a boy. Okay, yeah, you're right. Boy. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You're just sitting there looking at us. You're good at that? 
easy. I'm waiting for it to turn around. Don't let it jump out that window. This one's backwards. Dude, you got your other ear on this side. There you go. Shh. Flip them. Sure. <laughs> oh, hey, girlfriend.
same thing. I'm sure she's going to say you're a boy. Yeah. I know, just go that way. Just go on, there you go, dog. That's a boy. Yeah, boyfriend. It's probably a girl. It's a girl. Yeah, you put those boys to shame, dude. Yeah, I see that. Just calm down. I know, I need your ear. All girls do this all the time. Just need your ear. I don't know. I have no idea. It took 40 minutes. Yeah, like 30 minutes or less. 40. 40 total minutes? Start 10. That's amazing. All right, first load, guys. Throw it. <laughs> Good job, babies. Good job. Second load. All the babies are back. Ear tags. So tiny. Hi, hey, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, so they're all unloaded. They're all back. We've given them some water, and now it's just time to let them chill. They've got their cubes, and uh, I think ultimately, hey, this is our first time through. The period of time when an, an animal enters the alleys to the time they exit is the soak time. It's might be referred to something else to some other people, but it's the time that they're in super confinement and they're super going to be stressed out. They're not going to like like it a lot. And the idea or the goal is to keep them in there under three minutes, under 10 minutes, sorry. Which means in our case, we had three alleys. We had to get them in and out in less than three minutes to make sure that we're under that 10 minute threshold. And it took us 40 minutes, 13 animals, and that's with refilling two syringes and having a couple backwards that it took us a while to flip them around. So 
Um, everybody had their design, their, their assigned task, their jobs. Um, everybody was calm. We did it through. No babies, no animals were crashing through the head gate or the crash gate. Legs flying out, blood dripping everywhere, none of that. Um, the biggest issue was just that they would come in backwards. So, no big deal. So anyway, this is what happens when you handle your buffalo. Um, were we perfect? No. But I would put that up against most people, to be honest with you. Um, you know, check it online, guys, right? It's not supposed to be a big production where people are just screaming, where people are yelling and yipping and yapping and all sorts of stuff. The goal with working the animals is they're going to be super stressed. They're not going to like it. And we have to make that as easy as possible by staying calm in and out as fast as we can. That's the ultimate goal. Um, it, it's not supposed to be injuring buffalo because our equipment sucks or my dog's yapping its head off at the buffalo when it's in the crash gate. We will answer some questions upcoming um, that you guys have been asking about why sell them, everything else, what happened to the babies. We'll get those up next time. But today's been eventful. We're going to call it wraps right here. Thanks for joining along. And uh, remember, like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, yeah.